Hello and welcome back to Planet Coaster Winter Dongland. Okay, 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 okay. So what do we got going on? We just recently built and completed uh, our snack coaster with the steamboat scenery and our uh, and our little capital building here. So really, I'm excited to continue. Uh, you know, I love to see what else we can do with the park. I am, of course, still waiting for research. Cosmic Cow Milkshake 25 looks busy. Which one is that? Is that the one? It's not even that fucking busy. There's a whole five people. Uh, it's a little bit scarier with the decapitated head of a little girl being there. But you know what? That that should be fine. Anyway, let's go ahead and unpause the game. Um, so yeah, anyway, I think for scenery, we're doing really well. I think, I think aesthetically, this park looks a lot more pleasing than our original park. I'd love to continue it. Oh, I do realize one thing that I forgot to put in last time, which are these nice sort of iron square lamp posts that I wanted to have uh, scattered around our gingerbread area of the park. So we'll go ahead and throw down like a few of them around here, right? There we go. Maybe even throw some in the back of the act. Don't come back. Wackety act. Okay, there we go. Go, and I believe we've got some everywhere else. I don't know why, but apparently this place just flocks with fucking birds. Even though there's plenty of people here that you would think the birds would get pretty fucking terrified. Okay, but anyway, um, we're pretty much just, uh, oh, what? Snake boobs is no longer new? Man, didn't even make money. <laughs> snake, snake boobs has to cost more. Uh, snack boobs, excuse me. Uh, apparently people just don't want to come all the way down here. Uh, but anyway, I think to expand our park, we do need a lot of research, which apparently has been completed since last episode. Let's go ahead and get those, at least. So we got the Rival Coaster, which, again, I'm kind of mad, because apparently it's the same sort of inverted coaster where you're hanging down. I want I want a normal cart ride that's not a piece of shit for children. How hard is that, man? Okay. There's also a, uh, a log flume, and we got... The sun solar ride thing. Anyway, uh, coal transporter or back to the 80s? I have no fucking idea. Electrically powered? Bump around? Okay, we're getting bump around because I have no idea what that is. Um, we definitely have to get another coaster. I'm thinking back to the 80s and I don't know. We might as well get whatever this track ride is. It is a whole 2500 grand, tw excuse me, $2,500 per month, but... It's worth it, because we need to expand this park at some point, right? Anyway, uh, we could throw down the uh, the sun flare. <sighs> Thing's huge, but I mean, like, we could throw it down over in this area. What if we put it on top of the mountain? How tall is that? That's pretty fucking tall. Anyway, um, but yeah, we could throw it down over here just to make people excited about something, because it is pretty empty over here. Like, we, we only have two coasters, zero rides in this in this area so I think we might like throw it down right about here right just just so we have another reason for people to come down to this area I think that'll be okay the entrance might be a little confusing maybe maybe I have to do a little uh, snaking around no pun intended uh, but you know here we go well we'll figure it out it's not too bad to build a queue right there we go just wrap it around again then Oh, oh, not not quite gonna work out. Okay, okay, I, I, I understand. I got you, Q building. You don't you don't get to be perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up Sun Flare. Uh, hopefully that might attract some people. We've got all the trash cans and stuff we need. Nobody is riding on the fucking little kitty ride. Children fun time. It only costs seven dollars. Does nothing in this park make money? I'm actually convinced nothing in this park makes money. What, what, how's the Matterhorn doing? Matterhorn made money, at least, but barely. Jesus Christ, barely. Oh my goodness, where is all the money coming from in this place? Is it the Whirly Rig? It's actually gonna be Hatshots, isn't it? Jesus Christ, it made three grand this month already. What time is it? It's 11.40 in the morning, and it's made four grand. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, 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 slow down. Let's go ahead and, and just take a look. At the attractions and shops tab, I gotta know what snack boops lost money, which is understandable. It just opened. Forge one lost money because apparently nobody likes it anymore. 
Um, Kickflip 4 lost money somehow, even though it's it's new. Uh, Sunflare we just put down. MC Hammer Daddy barely lost money. Rocktopus lost money. Children's Fun Time lost a lot of money. And the Aeronauts lost 12 cents. Oh, damn. So, yeah. I don't know. New rides still make money. Everything else, a piece of shit. Doesn't even fucking matter. Uh, we never opened the Magic Twirl again. Uh, that, call that my bad. Um, <laughs> but thank God we put that back down. I don't know, man. Like... The money in this game is nuts. Shops and facilities. The shop sales are crazy. Is there what what shops are making all the money too? Every shop is making money. We don't have a single shop that did not make money. That that is nutty. That is absolutely insane. Every shop in this park, including all the gift shops, made money. Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and unpause it then, because Jeez, I honestly can't believe that every shop is making so much money. Ugh. And we could always build this rival as well, but you know what I'm thinking? We've, we've got our, our Solaire thing down, but what if we put in a water ride? Like that log flume we just got? What is that, under track rides? We could build the custom one, uh, but I'd, I'd rather build my own. What did I just do? Okay, I had no idea you could adjust this, but I don't want to, so like put it back there. Anyway, where do we want to build this log ride, though? Okay, let's let's. Where where in the world is Karma San Diego? First of all, over here isn't really gonna work. This is this is mountain territory. I'm saving the mountain for the roller coaster, obviously. But we were only gonna use one of the mountains, right? What if you use the other for a log flume? And that is a huge ass log flume, though. Like. That would that might be a little tall. Where where else can we put this log flume? We've got some area back here. Probably not going to build its own little circle, circle path area to just to put down a few rides. Like, that doesn't seem too valuable. But what if we put down a log flume over here? That could work out. That could really work out. Uh, if we do build it, I'm going to unpause it just so we can get some of that research done. But yeah, just put a log flume out here. We can enjoy the nice uh, scenery of the little steamboat thing. And yeah, I think I think that'll work out. We can use plenty of area over here. Okay. Let's put it down right about here. I think that's enough room for a queue. Um, we might need some more station area. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm gonna add a little more station area just just for more, some more some more log flumes because I do expect it to be a fairly long one. Uh, anyway, chain speed definitely 14 miles an hour. Oh shit, no, go go back. Extend that bitch right now. Right right meow. Right meow. Get get out here. You don't you don't need to be that short. Okay, log flume, it's going up. This log flume is gonna go to the fucking sky. Okay, so this is currently taller than any roller coaster we have. Uh, let's go ahead and end end it now. Uh, and then, and then what? You know, I think I don't think people need like too much too much rapids going down right now. I don't. Maybe we should throw them in a little drop first, and then put them into some kind of big drop. Because I don't know what fun is a log flume ride where you go through a single drop, right? So let's let's just give them a nice casual turn here, and then and then we flatten them out, and then, I don't know maybe we drop them again. And it starts a splashdown section at the end of a drop. I'm not sure what that is. That's that's not important though. Um, okay, let's let's go ahead and extend this drop a little bit. It's it's going to be 10 meters. Um, and we'll do we'll do two of those, and then we'll put it into a splash section. Okay, like oh that was fun. We get a get a big get a big little splash thing going on. I'm not sure how long to make this, but then we should probably end it at some point. It's not that big of a, of a drop anyway. Okay, but then, then of course, we do have to turn them. Uh, okay, here it is. Is that, I think that, I think that's a good enough angle here. Just, just kind of put them straight back on the path towards where they need to go. I don't know, though. We do need to get them to loop back around. Where should we put this second drop? I really don't know. I don't know if I want to have this much straight section is the thing. Okay, what if we what if we put them this way and then and then we do a smaller chain lift? Is that what I'm thinking? Or at least a slower chain lift. What if what if we do this one at 10 miles an hour? Cuz I don't know. I believe last time we built the Kraken drop, people uh, people seemed to get more excited by the fact that there was a longer slower chain lift, which was a weird a weird concept to me. But we'll go ahead and just test it out. 
because I'm curious. Now, if I if I could be allowed to extend the track here, there it is. Okay, keep going, and then I swear to God. Okay, keep keep going, and then we're gonna make a turn, and then this is gonna be our huge drop. This is where they're gonna fucking die. Okay, there it is. There it is. This thing has gotta it's gotta be extended all the way, of course. There comes the drop. And then, is that enough room? Apparently it's not enough room. Okay, let's go back and shrink this one by like the two meters required. There we go. Put them into the splashdown section. And this has got to be probably like the longest splashdown section of all time. Because they are going to get so fucking wet. <laughs> okay, there we go. And then it's just a, a casual autocomplete, except there's, that's not an option. Pretty much. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Um... So, you know, it's a fairly simple ride, but I'm okay with that. But first things first, we do need to hit done and then add, definitely add a bunch more cars. Probably seven is good, but let's go ahead and test it. And you know what? We might as well ride it, right? Get me up there. Okay. I have no idea what the stats are looking like right now, but this is more about the exciting, the excitement of the ride itself to see here. Because that is a huge drop, man. That's taller than our one chain lift. We have to go up two chain lifts. That's too many chain lifts, don't you think? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what they think. What they think and what they see. Okay, here we go. We're to the top. Look at that beautiful scenery. And is there a mountain over there? There is a mountain. Oh, and oh, look at the rest of the park. It's beautiful. And the sun? Oh, you point straight at the mountain when you drop. That's sick. Splashdown section? Oh we're so wet and we got done with that that was honestly like fairly quick I'm, I don't know if my splashdown section is gonna be long enough for this next drop because that thing is gonna destroy our anuses I am prepared to have my asshole penetrated by a log flume um, so you know we'll see how exciting that is I don't know how exciting this kind of shit is where we're just sort of flowing along like a lazy river but we'll go ahead and see now Okay, go back up. You know, it might be just exciting on its own, given the fact that we're about a mile into the sky. Like, you know, that, that seems pretty crazy to you, right? Uh, okay, now we're to the top. That chain lift, even though it was like four miles an hour left, still seemed pretty fast, but I don't, I don't know if it'll matter. We'll go ahead and see. Hopefully this ride is fucking exciting, because we're about to drop you in the, like, out of the stratosphere. Hope you don't get too many fucking Gs. <laughs> the nausea is probably going to be insane if, if the uh, splashdown section at the bottom isn't too isn't long enough here. Alright, here we go. Take my little gimbly legs here and we'll die. Oh my god, that gets going so fucking fast. Oh my god! Okay, okay, we need a longer splashdown section. Look at them fucking go. They're like fucking rocket ships when they come into that end. Holy shit! That is way too intense. Oh my god, look at them go! Holy fuck! <laughs> okay, okay, shut it down. I gotta, what are the results? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Where, where did excitement go wrong, first of all? Um, it wasn't too exciting in the lackadaisical areas where we're just sort of floating. I understand that. That makes total fucking sense. Surprisingly, the shorter drop was more exciting than this long as hell drop. It wasn't even fearful enough, apparently. How can we make that better, though? Because there's not a whole lot you can do with a log flume besides make them shit their pants on a giant drop and do it again on a different size drop. So, you know, like, whoop de doo really. I don't know. I don't know what there is to do. Maybe we can't really make these, lack of, like, these lazy river sections any faster, as far as I'm aware. Um... They, okay, well, what's the, what's the fear and the nausea like? Fear, fear is good in this, in this drop-down section and the turn section. What about nausea? Oh, boy. Woo, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's the one thing I'm changing for sure. For, for, for sure, for sure, for sure. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Is that attached now? Please stop doing that. Can we control Z? There we go. Okay, what I meant to do was click on this section and just delete it, but apparently that's too hard for it to understand. 
Okay, delete that too. Uh, and delete this. Okay, this this needs to be way longer. Just keep it going, man. Okay, that that's probably good enough. If they have a little bit of speed, that'll be okay. Now we now we just gently turn them. Um, and you know it is kind of sucky that it does have to go so far back to the beginning. Like it would really probably be easier if 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 we didn't have such a long lackadaisical section here. Like this is this is gonna ruin excitement, honestly. That kind of sucks. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna back it up. There are better ways to do this. Okay, I didn't mean that far back, but you know what? Like just just keep going back. We're we're too far gone at this point. Just back it all the way up. Um, okay, I don't think we can back it up anymore. Okay, okay, I think this is good. Um, first things first, I would like to add more cars, if I can. Okay, that's the max for now. You know what, never mind, we'll do that later. We need we need room in the back. So, what are, what are we doing? I think it does not matter how big we drop it. Like, that drop may have been a little too much for them to handle, but I don't think it matters in the long run. So, let's go ahead and back it up here. Um, this, this turn can probably be a little bit sharper. Like, I think they like the speed and the sharp turns that come off from that, uh, that huge drop we had, pretty much. Or, not even huge, but, you know, relatively, relatively decent sized drop. I would love if I could, like, get them to face in a normal human direction, but I can't. Okay. Okay, so, they seem to like shorter drops a little bit. And you know what? That's understandable. So we're not gonna put them back up a hill. Because that's, that's kind of fucked up. But what I would like to do here is uh, give them give the splashdown. I wonder what happens if you just have a drop end. Like, is that more exciting or less exciting? I don't, I don't really know. But anyway, we're going to give them... We can, we can raise them up by a degree. Oh, shit, we better do it, guys. Um, ooh, no, go back, go back. It's not worth it. Okay, so now that they're coming off this part, we're going to put them into another drop. And you know what well, you know what log flumes do? Is that when the final drop comes, you put them next to the entrance of the ride. And so that way, you know, you get some publicity, you get people wet on the way to the ride. It's so value, honestly. Like, we should have done that from the beginning. But all we have to do then is, is somehow create a weird drop that goes into the path. Um, I feel like this may be cutting into our trees a little hard. And by a little hard, I mean like we're creating some sort of sky path. I don't want that again. No more no more sky path. You know, I, I told this to myself last time, no more sky path, but it's, they, they just keep coming. Okay, we're gonna have to send them over this way. Just just a little bit. And we're, we might... We might not get to drop them for a little bit, because, you know, the problem with that last one was that we did not have enough room to drop them twice. Like, they just sort of ended up without any more room to drop. Okay, so we'll do, like, another another 10 meter drop, and then we'll give them a little little short splashdown section. Okay? That'll, that'll be good enough. And then, and then we put them into another drop right away. And this is the one that's going to go into the exit. And this one is going to take them all the way down all the way down right here uh, uh okay okay back it up we apparently have to turn them first just slightly can I can I get them to angle snap less than that is that good I think that might be good okay we got to do that and then we put them into a drop there we go and then we shove them all the way to the ground perfect and then we put them into the splashdown. And this is going to have to be a long splashdown, right? That's a 40 meter drop. That's pretty crazy. And that's going to get everyone in the entrance queue wet. Is is going to make a nice little splash area. Okay, and then they don't have quite as far to go to get to the entrance of the ride. There we go. Okay. I think that might work out. Let's go ahead and uh, put done. And then definitely throw in some more cars. I think I think 7 should be good again. Um, let's go ahead and test it and even give it another ride. Get to see what the new the new life is like. Let's just, if we can, three speed it up to the top. There we go. Look at that beautiful moon. Okay, we're there. Alright, big splashes. Big excitement. If he doesn't get, you know, like the six excitement and four fear it needs to be like roller coaster adult teens only sort of ride, you know what? Kids can ride the log flume too. There ain't nothing against that. Oh, there's a splash. 
you guys feel that one? Did you bring your conch shell so you can hear the ocean? Oh, hey, look, there's the snack boops. Have fun, guys. I can hear him screaming. Oh, he baby. Um, okay. I love looking into our park. It's such lovely scenery. You know what? That's what else it does. You get to see a little bit more into the park, the mountains. Beautiful. All so beautiful. Okay. Where's the next drop? This one's a little bit further away. You know, it may be a little annoying. Probably not a whole lot of, uh, of excitement coming from that, but... Oh well, right? You gotta have some low excitement parts with the high excitement. Oh, small drop. Oh, just a little bit of splash. Just a little bit. But this gets you on the right direction to put you into the drop. The one, the only, the big one. Oh, splash down. Oh, baby, that was a splash. Oh, and about perfect speed, really, to put you into the turn. Could even be a little shorter, honestly, if we wanted to, like, min-max our log flume. I don't know if that's necessary, though. Oh, look at those people go. Oh, it's suddenly daytime. Congratulations, everybody. We can see again. Just dock us into the entrance, pretty much. That, that, that probably is going to ruin excitement a little bit. But I'm curious to see what people think here once the first one comes back into the station. It's, uh, it probably could be a little faster, a little more exciting, but I think that's an okay-looking ride. Uh, it, is, it did do worse, weirdly enough, than the first time. Too bad. Too, too bad. <laughs> where, where did it all go wrong? Where did all the excitement go wrong? Okay, so yeah, excitement is definitely bad right there. Excitement's even bad right here. Okay, you know what? We can we can fix this at least a little bit. Okay, log flume definitely doesn't have to go this this far. At least this splashdown does not have to go that far. We can probably end it like right there, and then just give it a good old U-turn, pretty much. Just just something like that. It'll make it a little bit shorter. Is there anything else we can really do about this section? Like, it's so long. I don't know. It, it feels kind of bad. Is that where all the excitement's dipping to? Yeah, it goes down to a whole four, which is definitely the lowest on the ride besides the actual entrance itself, which kind of sucks. I don't know. I would love if I could give it some sort of elevation change, but it really doesn't work out. Here, why don't, why don't we... Uh, why don't we take these parts back? Okay, and definitely get rid of the heat map, though. I can't see a damn thing. Okay, what if we turn this into a lift hill? And what if we just lifted them a little bit? Just like, just give them like a 10 meter up, and then give them a 10 meter down. Okay, sound good? Maybe, maybe even less than that. Maybe give them like a 6 meter down or whatever, a 7 meter down. That, that's probably good enough. Give him a 6 meter. 7 meter? You know what? It doesn't matter. Oh, no. It needs to go back a little bit. Probably not even that long. Probably like a 4 meter. Just because I do need it to end uh, parallel with this guy over here. Um, um, if we could, like, take that back. No, can't take it back? Okay, no, no takesy backsies. Uh. Hmm can't quite dock it up together. I don't know, it doesn't even... It's, <laughs> there's barely any room to maneuver here. Like, that's that's it. Uh, yeah, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? Hmm. If we could go... Uh, we, just, we can't really start the uphill from here, because then we're a little lost. At least going in a different direction, but you know what? That might that might be our only option here. Let's, let's just go ahead and take this all back. Okay, I'm determined to make this a little bit better. I believe. Okay, so this this is gonna have to be like a lift start. And I don't know. We'll lift. We'll lift. Maybe like only. We gotta lift 10 meters, right? And then we end it. And then we put them towards the thing. Maybe. Maybe that'll help. Can we? We can't make it any shorter, which sucks. That piece can get damn long, though. Okay, then we face it that way. And then we drop him. And put him into, like, the 2 meter, 3 meter drop required. And dock him up again. Okay, that might make it a tiny bit more exciting, at least. There's more things happening. Okay, okay, okay. I think, I think that'll be good. Let's go ahead and just test it again, pretty much. Do we still have all the log flumes? Yeah, we have all seven. Okay, go ahead and test it. 
Speed it up. Send them up the hill. There we go. Everybody get on up there. I believe with this ending be a little bit faster, should be a little more exciting. With this elevation change, should also be a little more exciting. Go ahead and just click on results. There we go. Look at all those happy, happy campers. That, that end still is a little bit boring, but I don't know what else we can really do about that. That's perfect, actually. Like, that got a lot better. That's all in the greens. All right. I think that's a... Oh, okay. I was like, there's there's no ride entrance? To what ride? Anyway, that would have been crazy if we had somehow managed to fuck that up. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and, and get this entrance exit situation sorted out. Because it is going to be a little weird considering we did just put the entrance and exit in front of a log flume dip. Uh, so, what if the entrance here... The entrance here is going to have to go above this thing. But we also might make this a longer entrance, because I know water rides have a tendency to be pretty popular. Give them, give them like a nice little overhang of that big old splash. I'm sure they'll fucking love that shit. Eat that up. Okay, put that back. That was a bad angle. Here we go. Is that any better? I don't know. It's sort of a off square anyway. Okay, so they get the big splash, and I don't know. Send them back down the stairs. Oh. It barely doesn't work out. That sucks. That sucks. What if we send them down one before? Does that end up working out? I think I just did the same thing. Oh no, it it works out. Okay, so there's the entrance. I think that looks nice. May not be long enough. I'm not sure yet. We'll have to we'll have to check it out. And then the exit path. Don't even make it six meters. Don't. Even, okay, we're bothering to make it six meters now. Send them home. Send them out, like, right through that pocket. There we go. Perfect. Okay, we can go ahead and open Chopper's Creek 1, which is now called... Um... Lumberjack Log... Log Tutorial. Okay. There we go. We probably need to add some scenery real quick. I'm not really sure. Uh, what do we want to do? What do we want to do for scenery? I don't know. I'm kind of bored with all the scenery like I don't even want to bother making my own right now uh, it's so much effort I don't know what a, you know what I don't know yeah we're, we're continuing with our steamboat theory right that there was just like a steamboat that was coming for some treasure manned by a robot who's angering some pirates. You know what, that, that fits the theme over here, right? So the pirates came from this cave, right? Like, that just makes sense. But also, um, they were festive. So, of course, they, they had their own little festive lighting to get into the cave. It just makes sense, honestly. And you know what? This cave is populated by snowmen who are in the ground. Why did that happen? Let's, let's, let's try that again. Why are you guys in the ground? You're supposed to be resting, like, right there. I don't know. That was weird. Huh. Okay, no. Put him up. Put him up. You put him up. Put him up. It's rocky. Um, you, there's also a nice little gingerbread family watching you get off the ride, congratulating you. And there's a nice... Cause you, pirates appreciate flowers, right? Right. You know, that doesn't make any goddamn sense. We should probably put some stuff right here. Like, this place is pretty empty. Um, yeah, okay, there's a there's a pirate camp residing here, apparently. They're fishing for dead hookers. Um, no. Oh, yeah, what about that? That doesn't look bad. Give a little signage at the end of the ride? I think it's perfect. Oh, the Kraken attack, though. No, there ain't room for that shit going on right here. Like, that'd be way too insane. I'm gonna do that. And then, and then, why don't we, why don't we quickly just fill the rest up with trees, right? And by fill the rest up with trees, I don't know, just jack it off. Just get some trees here. Let's go for our two classics first. We'll go with some oak trees. Such a classic tree, really. Shove them, shove them every which way. There's a, there's a few oak trees. Um, should probably even throw a few like over here. Like this place, place is pretty barren. Kind of forgot about this area. Throw down a one, number one, number two can go right in the middle there. 
There's a number three. Uh, we can always fill up the rest of this with more with more in-depth scenery. I'm just not gonna get that to this episode at least. Uh, where else did we? What was the other big one? Uh, a, a, a sycamore. That's it. Okay, gotta love a good sycamore tree, right? Uh, throw throw one down like right there. One down over here. Sycamore tree two is a little bit smaller. That fits right there. Sycamore tree three is even smaller. Uh, one of them right about there too. Uh, one one here. One one here. We we do have to fill this all with a bunch of scenery, but that might that might actually be a bit more of a project than I'm willing to chew off for this this rest of the episode. Uh, but anyway, thank you for watching this episode of Planet Coaster, and I will see you next time.